Hey guys, John here with Backyard Maine. In this episode, I want to talk about a few different connection options available for wiring outlets and switches in your home. I make a lot of electrical content here on the channel, and I've noticed that some of my viewers are actually confusing one method for another, so we'll clear that up as well. There are a few different options available depending on the grade of the device being used, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to make a reliable connection every time based on my almost four decades of experience as a licensed electrician. I know, I'm old. And be sure to stick around to the end and I'll share with you what the most important factor is to consider for long lasting reliable connections. So let's dive right into it. Now receptacles are classified by grade, starting with residential grade, moving all the way up to hospital grade devices. And there's a price increase at every level. Your home is most likely wired to residential or possibly commercial grade devices. But let's start out with residential grade today because they're the most common and to be honest, they hold up really well in a home as long as they're wired correctly and they're not exposed to excessive load. For example, I wired my whole house with residential grade devices 25 years ago and I haven't had a single issue with an outlet or switch in all that time. Looking at this 15 amp residential receptacle, you can see that there are four little holes in the back. These quick connects are often referred to as backstab wiring connections. They're really quick and easy to use, but they're not very reliable. To use them, you simply strip your wire, stab it into the hole, and your connection's made. We will still need to make a J hook to connect our ground wire. To remove the wire, you insert a small screwdriver into this little release tab, pull back on the wire, and it should pop right out. Now there are four important facts that you should know about backstab connections before you decide to use them. First, they're only available on 15 amp residential grade devices. And second, they're only rated for 14 gauge solid copper wire. So if your circuit is running number 12 gauge wire, or if it's in stranded wire, these connections cannot be used. And third, they're only rated for one time use. That means once you remove the wire from the connection, it cannot be used again. And fourth, the screws are not part of the stab connection. Now they should be tightened down so they're not sticking out, but they play no role in securing the wire in the connection. Now the issue with backstab connections is the very small surface area that actually secures the wire. So, over time, that can become loose. It'll get hot, start working intermittently, and eventually fail. But the manufacturers also gave us a second wiring option on this device. It's called side wiring. The side wiring method will require us to make J-hooks to connect to the side screw terminals on the device. We'll strip about 3 quarters of an inch of insulation off our 14 gauge wires. I find that's the right amount to make the proper J-hook. We'll bend our hooks by using the small holes in our wire strippers. You can also use the tip of your wire strippers to bend the hooks if you prefer that method. We'll wrap the hooks around the screw terminals in a clockwise rotation. And then we'll tighten down the screws. This is going to provide a much more reliable connection and it's really easy to accomplish with just a few simple hand tools. Let's look at a 20 amp residential grade receptacle. As you can see, there are no backstab holes on this device. 20 amp receptacles used to have backstab connections as well, but due to their high failure rate, they're no longer available. So we're going to have to sidewire this device with the screw terminals, just like we did on the 15 amp receptacle, but because it's 20 amps, we'll be using 12 gauge wire. And just so you know, it is a code violation to install a 20 amp receptacle on a 15 amp circuit. Our next step up from residential grade are going to be our commercial grade devices. You'll see receptacles marked as commercial grade on the shelves of your home improvement stores like Lowe's or Home Depot. Now they do cost a bit more, but they're built to last longer under high use conditions. Although they're designed for commercial applications, they can and are often installed in residential homes as an upgrade. Aside from being a better device, they offer a different wiring connection option called backwiring. Yes, backwiring, not backstabbing. 
Now, I think most of you knew that, but some of my viewers were actually confusing the two methods. Hey, let me know in the comments if you knew the difference. With back wiring, the wire is actually sandwiched between the connection surface and this little plate. When you tighten the screws, the plates secure the wires. No J-hooks are required here, and they have plenty of surface area to create a reliable connection. Let me show you how they work. First, we'll strip our wires. They do have a strip gauge as well to make sure we're removing just enough, but not too much insulation. We don't want any bare copper extending beyond the back of the device. Next, we'll insert the wires into the holes. Then we'll tighten down the screws. We will still need to make a J-hook to connect our ground wire. I'm using this ideal combo head screwdriver which fits perfectly in the screws. I'll link all these tools down in the description and there's a little shopping bag somewhere on the screen. You can find them there as well. These back wire connections are miles better than backstabbing and they will surely last you a very, very long time. Now these commercial grade devices are a really nice upgrade, but the most important factor for reliability is not going to be the grade of the outlet or switch. It's going to be the quality of the installation. Hey, and I hope this video helped you out a little bit with that. I'll link some more content for you to watch next right here. I'm John from Backyard Maine. Thanks for watching.